Good morning, Pastor Connor here. It's May 16th, 7.30 in the morning. I'm glad to be with you and take a few moments to pray with you. For those of you joining me live, thanks for being here. If it works better for you to join me at a separate time, later in the day, even a different day, praise God you're able to join us through this technology and be in prayer with us. And then uh, just a brief devotional thought, uh, focus on some of the promises of God's word. So I want to open with just a very brief reading from the book of 1 Peter. Peter writes this, All flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls. Now we've all heard that before, right? And I think on one level, we knew it was true, like in theory, that's that's true. But for many of us, it was really something that only was true from a distance, right? Something that we'd face someday. But through this pandemic, God is teaching us how true this is today. It's not just that man dies someday. It's saying all flesh, all the things of the flesh, all the things flesh does, it's all like grass. It withers. It falls. This is not a theory. This is reality in a fallen world. And we are seeing it happen in real time. Our health, our job, our assumptions about the market, about supply and demand, about the government, about our future, they've all been upended by this microscopic virus. I mean, six months ago, right? Six months. Six months ago, most of the world had never heard of COVID-19. It wasn't a part of our, our, our language. It wasn't part of our, 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 the, the way we spoke. And now it's almost all the world is talking about. It's like one morning we woke up and discovered that our job was a domino, that our health was a domino, that our plans were a domino, that our financial security, yeah, it was a domino, that we live in a world of dominoes. It's all dominoes. And COVID-19 just tipped one. And it has dawned on us that Nothing is safe. Nothing is secure. Now, it took a little longer for the cascade of falling dominoes to reach Western Iowa, but it's here. And if you're joining us from somewhere else, it's no doubt where you are, too. And now we're all wondering which domino will fall next. But here's the thing. The thing that God's Word has been teaching us all along. All flesh is like grass. I mean, you can use the domino Im image if you want to. You live in a world of dominoes. It all falls. But how does, how does Peter end that little verse? With the next verse, he says this. So all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but... You probably know what comes next, right? The word of the Lord remains forever. The word of the Lord remains forever. The word of the Lord is a creative word, bringing into existence that which did not exist. It is a righteous making word, bringing a new state of being into existence. It is a renewing word, granting new life and the promise of a renewed creation. This is not a time to turn from it. This is the time to turn to it because this word is unshakable, unbreakable, and unwavering. It's not a domino. The word of God is not a domino. It's the foundation. I think of that phrase from the hymn, how firm a foundation, right? Just the opening couple lines. How firm a foundation, O saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. You have a firm foundation in the word of God. And though the world may tumble like dominoes and wither like grass, and that may be scary. I mean, it may, it may be stressful, it probably is. 
It may affect you in deep and profound ways. Stand on the word. Stand on the word and you will endure. That doesn't mean that your domino won't fall. It means that God's promises won't fall. The word will not fail you. It's not a domino. It's the foundation. Okay, let's take a moment to pray. Lord God, we praise you for your unshakable, unbreakable, and unwavering word and how desperately we need it in a world of grass and dominoes. Bring your word to mind in the midst of our fears. Turn us to your word in the midst of our anxieties as we watch the things of, this, of the flesh wither and fall. Keep us from despair and plant our feet firmly upon your word and promises where we have placed our faith in dominoes. Forgive us. Where we have trusted in the permanency of the flowers of the field, be merciful to us. How slow we are to trust you and how quick we are to turn to the things of creation for permanency and security. But you are the creator. By your word, you brought all things into existence. By your word, you made us righteous. And by your word, you will renew the earth. Turn us to this word. Open our ears to hear it. Move us to support its proclamation and spread. And help us to build our lives on the firm foundation of your unflinching word. We are bold to pray this in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for taking the time to be with us this morning. Uh, those of you who are joining us from locally, great. Some of you are, are, are quite a ways away, but so happy you're able to be a part of this and to pray. And my encouragement, again, is to hit the share button so other people can be praying and be in the Word. Uh, I appreciate your time. I'll be back tomorrow at 7.30 for prayer, and then nine o'clock for worship. And again, you are welcome to join us for worship, but if you feel more comfortable worshiping from home, we will be streaming. And then also I'll be after, uh, back after worship for a little while for a time of Bible study. So all three are opportunities you can be a part of and invite you to join us when it works for you. Oh yes, and thank you, I see Bob, you put up there for us a reminder that a fundraiser for Janet Smith this evening from five to seven over at Trinity in Manila Simply drive through, call ahead if you want to. Um, here, let me see if I can put this phone number here, 654-3031. Oh, I better type the right number. That would not be good. That's, uh, that's the uh, phone number for Trinity in Manila, and you give them a call if you have any questions, but drive through, spaghetti, a dinner, fundraiser for Janet Smith as she continues to recover from uh, cancer treatments. So I uh, keep her in your prayers, and I invite you to be a part of that uh, this evening. So thanks for being with me this morning, and we'll see you again soon.